The Herodians were a sect or party of Hellenistic Jews mentioned in the New Testament as having on two occasions first in Galilee, and later in Jerusalem manifested an unfriendly disposition towards Jesus Mark 3 verse 6, 12 13, Matthew 22 verse 16, cf. also Mark 8 verse 15, Luke 13 verses 31 32, Acts 4 verse 27. In each of these cases their name is coupled with that of the Pharisees, according to many interpreters, the courtiers or soldiers of Herod Antipas Milites Herodes", Jerome were intended, others argue that the Herodians were probably a public political party, who distinguished themselves from the two great historical parties of post-exilic Judaism the Pharisees and Sadducees by the fact that they were and had been sincerely friendly to Herod the Great, the King of the Jews, and to his dynasty. The Herodians are often mentioned in the Gospels at the same time as the Pharisees. Like the Pharisees, the Herodians wanted political independence for the Jewish people. Unlike the Pharisees, who sought to restore the kingdom of David, the Herodians wished to restore a member of the Herodian dynasty to the throne in Judea. Anglican Bishop Charles Ellicott notes a consistency in format with other designations such as Mariani, supporters of Gaius Marius, Pompeiani, relating to Pompey the Great, and we may add Christiani. It is possible that, to gain adherence, the Herodian party may have been in the habit of representing that the establishment of a Herodian dynasty would be favorable to the realization of the theocracy, and this in turn may account for Pseudo-Tertullian's adversus omnes heresies 1, 1 allegation that the Herodians regarded Herod himself as the Messiah. The sect was called by the rabbis Boethusians as being friendly to the family of Boethus, whose daughter Mariamne was one of Herod the Great's wives. Professor Robert Eisenman of California State University, Long Beach argues that Paul the Apostle was a member of the family of Herod the Great. Professor Eisenman makes a connection between Paul and an individual identified by Josephus as Solus, a kinsman of Agrippa. Another oft-cited element of the case for Paul as a member of Herod's family is found in Romans 16 verse 11 where Paul had written, "'Greet Herodion, my kinsman." Some people think that the Herodians was another name for the Essenes who probably wrote the Dead Sea Scrolls. Nothing is known of them beyond what the Gospels state. Their precise relation to the other sects or schools among the Jews are consequently matters of conjecture. Their name is the Herodians so people assume they are a political group, not a religious group. That does not follow. If a religious group liked Herod and he liked them then they could be known as the Herodians even though their primary purpose was religious. The only things we know for certain is their name and the fact that they disliked Jesus. All else is conjecture. Josephus Antiquities of the Jews Book 15 Chapter 10.5 states, 5. Now there was one of these Essens sick, whose name was Menahem, who had this testimony, that he not only conducted his life after an excellent manner, but had the foreknowledge of future events given him by God also. This man once saw Herod when he was a child, and going to school, and saluted him as king of the Jews, but he, thinking that either he did not know him, or that he was in jest, put him in mind that he was but a private man, but Menahem smiled to himself, and clapped him on his backside with his hand, and said, However that be, thou wilt be king, and wilt begin thy reign happily, for God finds thee worthy of it. And do thou remember the blows that Menahem hath given thee, as being a signal of the change of thy fortune. And truly this will be the best reasoning for thee, that thou love justice towards men, and piety towards God, and clemency towards thy citizens, yet do I know how thy whole conduct will be, that thou wilt not be such a one, for thou wilt excel all men in happiness, and obtain an everlasting reputation, but wilt forget piety and righteousness, and these crimes will not be concealed from God, at the conclusion of thy life, when thou wilt find that he will be mindful of them, and punish time for them. Now at that time Herod did not at all attend to what Menahem said, as having no hopes of such advancement, but a little afterward, when he was so fortunate as to be advanced to the dignity of king, and was in the height of his dominion, he sent for Menahem, and asked him how long he should reign. Menahem did not tell him the full length of his reign, wherefore, upon that silence of his, he asked him further, whether he should reign ten years or not. He replied, Yes, twenty, nay, thirty years but did not assign the just determinate limit of his reign. Herod was satisfied with these replies, and gave Menahem his hand, and dismissed him, and from that time he continued to honor all the Essens sick. 
We have thought it proper to relate these facts to our readers, how strange soever they be, and to declare what hath happened among us, because many of these essens sick have, by their excellent virtue, been thought worthy of this knowledge of divine revelations." Josephus said Herod, "...continued to honor all the Essenes." The people could have thought that the Essenes were Herod's pet and called them the Herodians. References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Herodians. Encyclopædia Britannica, 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Topic. External links. Jewish Encyclopedia, Herodians.